Okay, so I'm back and uh, ready to continue on. Let's go ahead and save for the hell of it. So, uh, Candor is here. We'll also craft a st uh, stimulants. Uh, so yeah, what let's, do you uh, want? talk to him. I was wondering if you had any more war stories. I was there, one of the Candace. best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Oh. Except Wait Mandalore a himself, war droids. Of in those days, we were sweeping across the outer rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. How barbaric! <laughs> Would have furnished that power sooner. Maybe another time. Uh, what was I your story? I remember it well. Orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened yes. in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. You dropped from orbit, riding a droid? The, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. I want a basilisk war droid. I'll never forget those I mean, who times. Wouldn't? But no. things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something for else now. you want to know? Yes, stimulants. <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a speed boosting stimulant to help you get quicker. There anything else you need? Yes, stimulants. <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a strength boosting stimulant to help you get stronger. There anything else you need? Yes, <laughs> stimulants. Stimulants make a warrior out of even. You just have to keep doing this. Here's Repeat it over and over and over again until he tells you enough. There anything else you need? <laughs> there is a stimulants limit. Stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a strength boosting stimulant to help you get stronger. There anything else you need? Hey, think about these worry. stimulants. I think I, got enough there. Okay, it is. that that you don't that want to overload limit. yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy the adrenal system. True. A real I, I, I like Candor's. I really do. Like his there voice. He's got... You need? He's colorful, you know. He's got personality. Your choice. Nothing more I'm for now. If you want something done right. Okay, yeah. Uh, stimulants, I, I hardly use them. I do on occasion. Maybe I should use them more. I don't know, but... They're worth money, and, and there are some vendors I can go to and get some some really decent creds for stimulants. So it's a good source of income, or at least a s good source of su uh, some supplemental income. Anyway, uh, did I go in here yet? I don't think I did.
That's that's kind of a nice touch too when you when you upgrade uh, one of your party members' weapons. If it's if it's a sword, you know, or a lightsaber, you, you you'll you'll hear the sound, you know, <laughs> as they as they wield it. The story of store of emergency food and supplies. Uh, one of these containers, uh, cylinders, uh, has. Uh, I think. I think this is where we. I might be confusing this with Kotor Two. Actually, I do get some of the things mixed up on occasion. Uh, oops, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Come on this. Uh, yeah, I think that's two, I'm thinking. There's a, you can, a flight simulator, you can. Uh, as a matter of fact, in, in Kotor 2, this is where, uh, Kreia, uh, resides. Okay, so I can get some spikes from T3 here. Uh, can you construct a programming spike? Same thing, same thing. Got to, got to go back in. Same thing. You know, just keep doing it till he says no more. Negatory. Just keep wash, rinse, and repeat. Story. That's it. Got it. Thank you, bud. All right, some nades. Got right up in his face there. Uh, I want you to make me a nade. All right, let's see what I can do. There you are. Uh, how about another one? Okay, another one. And another one. One more. Let's keep it going. How about another one? Another one? <laughs> another one? Ah, okay. It was fun while it lasted. Got a bunch of aids. See what we have now. Yeah. For concussion, for ion. Sonic Nate. What? That was it? Adhesives three. No, he so he crafted three adhesive grenades. Uh four concussion grenades. Four ion grenades. Yeah, I don't think he crafted all those. I think I picked some uh, at least a couple of those up. Doesn't seem right. Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh. oh, I gotta go see mission. She's uh, a spec here. There she is. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh, want to talk about your brother? It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. Uh, why do you hate her so much? Well, what did she do? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay. 
until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. You mean no matter how much he stole? <laughs> Uh, did Lena I thought dump Lena him? would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason she stuck around. I guess she saw maybe the she liked him. for a big payday down the road. Or maybe she liked him. Maybe she actually liked him. I saw him. Lena for what Here she really was. A busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. How's this Lena's fault? Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. Part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Uh, wait a minute. I, I, thought, I thought she also... Okay. Uh, I don't I want to play Pazak. Hey there. Can I do? Yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, I knew. I knew she did. I, I need you to make no me problem. a security just spike. So happens I've got one here. I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you need? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, another one. No problem. Just so happens I've got one here. I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Uh, Anything else you all need? All right. Just. Yeah. Just Sorry, keep coming. I don't have one handy right now. Besides, what? we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading two? on them, is there? The overloading? You just made two of them. It's kind of tight, Shinsy. How many do I have? Total. I have 11 computer spices. Better. Security spice, I have nine. Huh. Okay. I was hoping for more, but okay. Golly gee. This is the Galaxy Map, the Evan Hawks onboard navigational computer. When you are ready to leave Dantooine, you can use the Galaxy Map to travel to other planets around the galaxy. That's why it's called the Galaxy Map. <laughs> uh, yes, what's on your go. mind? Uh, do you know anything about this Dantooine's place there, Carl? It's a warning place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect uh -huh. for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, static, uh, you know, external view there. Well, it's still kind of cool, you know, the cockpit. There's a there's a weird glitch. This has always been part of the game, no matter what version. Go to this 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 part right here, over the seam. Uh, that divides the cockpit from the hallway, or corridor, and uh, right right in here, it's just something weird that happens. Uh. Like, like, sometimes I'll be trying to turn the camera, and uh, it just, well, it didn't, didn't happen there, but 
Uh, it just sort of takes control of your character and twirls him around, you know, or her. If, you know. So that's everything. We were, we were set. Not in a big hurry, you know, just gotta go out this way. Uh, yeah, just kind of easy going right now. Easy does it. I think I got about maybe one more hour left in me. So I'll take Candorus and Karth. Add them up. Move them out. Back in the map. Transit back. In front of the Rodian. Get his name. What's your name again? Adam. Right. I, how, how do you forget that? Adam Larp. Lorp, Lorp. Okay, and here we go. Here come the cat hounds. Yes, yes. Go into my trap. You guys want to join in? You have to like prompt them sometimes. Well, long delay. If you don't. Mm -hmm. what? Oh. Shit, now they're going crazy. We don't piss them off. Yeah, I, he's, he's, I don't, my character is like aimed on the dude, on the cat town, way in the back of me, and I'm being surrounded. Sometimes. Sometimes. Back him up. Sure. 
What the fuck? Oh, man. You know, seriously. <laughs> fuck. The targeting sometimes. Baffling. You get caught out by us just so often. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at one enemy. The game's targeting someone directly behind it, like further back. And I don't realize it because the reticle's lining up with the, the enemy I'm, I'm the closest to. But it's really the enemy like 500 feet back, you know? Sinuses, real issue. Too bad I have these sinus issues because I actually <laughs> don't have a bad sound of voice and uh, I just kind of messes it up. Uh, that's that's the, the tomb over there, the ruins. Um, can't do anything with that right now. <clears throat> when save. That's right, come on. That's ridiculous. Here, Kathy, 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 Kathy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't look now, Candrus, but you're being attacked, buddy. Okay. Alright, I'm it with every swing. Right, hey, don't be pissing them off now. <laughs> there you go. Sounds like a a mule. Okay, so that's where Juhani is. She's the confused uh, apprentice. Or is she Padawan yet? Uh, I think she's. Anyway, she she uh, she's she's out here in the or in the in the grove, uh, causing no end of trouble because of a misunderstanding. So am I, the question I have right now is, am I ready for her right now? <laughs> uh, usually I kind of hold off till I've leveled up some more. Uh, let me take a look. Yeah, Jedi Counselor. Level one. Uh, I, I need 7,000 more to level up. Roughly, um, well, a little less than that, a little, just over 6,000 actually. Uh, should I try it? I'm thinking I, I, I'm thinking I could be okay right now. Uh, I'm thinking I could do it. I was thinking that I could do it. Famous last frickin' words, you know. Okay, let's do it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Might be too soon. She's actually a little more, 
a little more difficult to handle right now. And, and plus, here's not I just remembered. Shit. Usually, I have some other force powers I can use on her, like force push. I don't have that yet. I came too soon. I, I don't think I can handle her. Uh, shit. Let me see if I can knock her out. Or, not knock her out, just... Well, basically knock her out, I guess. Um, anyway, let's uh, see if this works. No? Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, try to get her. Uh, yeah, that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can't use that right now because I don't. Ah, uh, I'm not ready for this fight. All right, let's count for that. Let's do this. Try this again. Try it again. Good. I knocked myself out. What? Yeah. I knocked myself out. Ah, oh, get the fuck out of here with that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You, you are strong. Stronger than me, even in my darkness. Who are you? Johanny, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why is that? My master, Quatra. I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life of someone out. such as you. <laughs> Need to quit that. I had thought. The dark side is never powerful enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? Uh, I just want to talk. Uh, where are you doing this? Uh, I just want to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire to kill you, Johanny. You're right, maybe I should. I do not hold anger towards you, Johanny. I wish not you peace. Anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Uh, why are you even thinking like that? Maybe you shouldn't have been a Jedi. Standards cannot apply. The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. This is what I you have to say right here. I still have much to learn. Both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Even in death, the Force will allow her to live on. Yeah, if even in death. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Anger? Show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. If I show them I am free of passion, that I am serene, that I am willing to forsake the dark side, maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? Absolutely. 
Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me again. I thank you. I am sure you're I'll welcome. Great things about see you future. back on the Ebon Hawk. Actually, I'll see her at, uh, uh, at the Council Chambers. Yeah, so that takes care of uh, that. Melee shield, nice. Underlay. That's everything. Okay. So it would probably be wise of me to go back and grab uh, grab Bastila yeah, because uh, when I, when I report back to the council, I'll get a robe, Jedi robe. Uh, I will have passed by apprenticeship, become a Padawan, and uh, Bastila will be free to join us. Um, I can sure use her powers. But at the same time. <laughs> I can use Candorous out here as well. And I can also use Zalbar. Zalbar is bad ass. Really is. Uh, let me think about this. The thing is, you know, between Candorous and, and uh, Karth, they get into some interesting banter, you know, back and forth. They have some uh, rather intense conversations. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what to do, what to do. What to do. I can stay out here. I'm going to stay out here a little bit longer. Over yonder, we see our first group of Mandalorians to have to deal with. You know what? I got it. I got. I, let me let me switch that up. Uh, treat injury, yes, yeah, do that. Yeah.
Should have done this before. Why did Candorus run his stupid ass down there? It's unbelievable, man. It's just really fucking un fucking believable. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, these fucking idiots, man. Run it down here and screwed it up for me because I wanted to concentrate, focus on this fucking Mandalorian down here. I can't move. Stop. Man, sometimes with their pathing. Ah, god damn, and they're anyway, they're 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 targeting, they're they're prioritizing. It just They, they they shouldn't have done that much damage on us. Had it not been for Candorus just inexplicably running all the way over to the other dude, even though he was I, I had prioritized actions to target the same Mandalorian I was attacking. He runs all the way over to this other Mandalorian. Gets up in his face, then turns around. Meanwhile, Karth is throwing nades because that's what I've, that's what I queued up uh, for Karth to do. And, uh, uh, <laughs> God. This, uh, that was to be frustrating. Anywho. We got through it. I'm going to stay out till <clears throat> try to level up to Jedi level 2. And, uh, I don't want to go there yet. 
definitely want to bring Bastila with me. At some point. Wow. I don't even see that, that cat down there. Just standing there. It's like, oh, what's all the ruckus over here? What's going on? <laughs> da, 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 da. I just want to make sure I didn't leave anything over here. Well, okay, <clears throat> I could do this now, I could do this later, I may as well do it now. This is a murder investigation that my character is going to help solve. So I may as well do it. Princess, your arrival here is well timed. Who are you? I am Bullock, a Jedi from the Enclave. Enclave. <laughs> I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate something that took place here a few hours ago. Uh, communication does not pose a problem. As both the suspects and I speak basic in it. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you are not a full Jedi, uh, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought on information which we will droid with access to the archives, both of the Jedi Enclave and the Planetary Capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the, the case for you. There is little bit of it if you do not solve the problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information you like. If you are un unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together before the clouds broke. 
I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds as it was earlier today. That is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, called an etic, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. The rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was handed gold, he was unarmed. The other was Ricard Lussoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say they did not uh, do anything, that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there is more to this than we have been told. Is there anything else I should know? There's one thing last, or one last thing, last thing, last one. When I arrived, Hannah was holding his side, and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. There's anything else you need. I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay, and I'm going to go in solo mode. Okay? Alright, good, good. Talk to the information you droid. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Kelly and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Paul the Mechic, Ricard Lussop, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Nettick. Is there any information you require? Uh, what did you find out about the body? The preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Put it have been suicide. Tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be prevented to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. Small farms and homes the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Yes, yes. Could a cat hound have pulled the trigger? Very well. I'll ask you questions. some questions later, maybe. Actually, I will. Definitely ah, will. greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. Uh -huh. I'm handing you look you. guilty. Perhaps you've heard of me? Yeah, should I have? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I was thinking the same thing about you. I can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard uh -huh. a shot coming from over here. I ran over oh. and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. My goodness, did you see the killer? And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. Well, good for you. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Is that the whole story, or what? I really wasn't finished talking to him How can yet. I be of further assistance? Uh, you're holding your side. Are you injured? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh huh. Of course. Of so for now. So if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Yeah. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me your well, story. I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. 
I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you want to know? Bullock said you were limping. Are you well, hurt? I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what let me do ask you, you something know? else. Why were you out here? I told here? you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the eerie as was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Ah. Not just yet. So, what do you want to know? Right. How can I be of further assistance? So, why exactly were you out I here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. So what my old man used to call it when he had to poop. Do you often run around the plains, or...? Often yes, quite running. often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Huh. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Ah, Akupa, Chekupa? The thing, uh, <laughs> I want to discuss the murder. Very well, we should start at the beginning. If we find the truth, by each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt resolve the case. And he said, was, said he was nearby and heard a shot, ran over it, only to find Calder already dead. He said Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks, holding a blaster. Ricard said that he was hunting Iriaz, saw one of the glare of the sun, and shot at it. It is possible that Ricard may have shot Calder accidentally, and Hannah may have found the body, but that seems a very unlikely explanation. Obviously, one of these men is not telling us something. But where does the truth lie? Ricard is lying. Why do you believe that? Uh, it was cloudy. There was no sun glare. You have got Ricard in a bit of a lie. Okay, okay. Seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This lie doesn't prove Ricard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling the mystery. We should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the man about their relationship with the victim. Is there anything else you need? I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Already. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about Calder and Handed. Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder has been rented by Mr. Medic and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about Calder and Rickard. Municipal authorities near the Garrow Spaceport. They have been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Metic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tupa was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? I will have questions later. How can I be of further assistance? 
You knew Calder better than you admit you rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in? Why is that? Well, my wife was cheating on me with him. I slept oh. in my own bed. Well, the, well that's a motive. Room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my oh. own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out Guilty. running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, right. not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. No, but shooting someone is, you know. Uh, of course. Of that's course. all for now. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. So, what do you want to know? Do you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. <laughs> Hardly. Hardly. What's what he says to this? You thought Calder was now, cheating you. I don't you. love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that oh. business for well over 20 years. And partners, we've been doing you just say. fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between you. Right. <laughs> That's how it ends. Is there any other information? Very well. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, is there something I could do to help you in the investigation? I want to discuss the murder. Uh, yeah, we know Rickard lied about the son blinding him while he was shooting, but we need more to go on. Let's examine the rel relationship of each man with the victim. This told me he barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rickard and the victim were business partners. However, according to Rickard, they got along quite well on the surface. Neither man seems to have a motive for killing Halder. Yeah, well, Rickard's lying. Why do you believe that? Uh, they had a fight over. He does not seem like a businessman. He's getting on my nerves. Actually, they had a fight over business matters. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, okay. Very well. Uh, Handed is lying. Yes. Why? Uh, he knew his wife was cheating on him. Well, that certainly is a motive for murder. The case is taking shape. However, you must. You must have jumped to any quick conclusions. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. I want to see what information the witnesses and the information Droid can provide you about the blaster. If there's anything else you need, we will remain here while you question the witnesses. You see, it's quite involved. Now tell me about the weapon at the scene. Did not belong to Calder. Nope. So, what do you want to know? What about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Right. How can I be of further assistance? 
what do you know about the weapon found by the body? Now, this is very interesting. That blaster right was here. stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. Oh, it's yours. I have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cat hounds uh -huh. around. Even an eerie yes. has to take a man down if it gets in the mood. Stolen, Every he says. Has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Yeah. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Is there any other information you need? Is there a report of Handed's blaster being I'm stolen? Sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Nope. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Is there something I could do to help you in the investigation? I want to discuss the murder. So, what have you determined about the, the weapon found by the body? Uh, blast, blaster's hands. He lied about it being stolen. So we have caught hand it in a lie. Interesting, but I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. There was a blood sample on a weapon that had been sent back for analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire with the information droid about it. If there's anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Tell me about the blood. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Porter's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Porter. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business <coughs> practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind yeah, things about, about him, outside of the affair he was kill him. having with your wife. <laughs> you might kill him for well, having an affair with your wife. Sure, but not kill him. No, not. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until... Two days ago, it seems Calder was seeing my wife, right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course. of course. That's all for now. Yeah, I'm ready to solve this uh, right now. Anything else I could do? Uh, I want to discuss the murder. I assume the blood on the weapon belongs to the weapon, but I want to be thorough. What have we learned about the blood on the weapon? It did not belong to the vic uh, t It did not belong to the victim. That is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of the suspects, but which one? It's on. It's hand is blood. No. What do you believe that? Uh, he is clutching his side. Brandon has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. Hey, 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 what are you doing? 
There is blood. Hannon appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It was seen there is one logical scenario. Hannon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Hannon after he had killed Calder. Uh, no. They are both guilty. Da -da -da. Bold conclusion. What well, most people would not arrive at, but we are not like most people. We are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. We know Calder was having an affair with Tandon's wife, but what possible motive could Rickard have for wanting Calder dead? Uh, Rickard thought Calder was cheating him in business. Yes, well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning and each plotted to kill him. Hannon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife shortly after Ricard arrived on the scene. From a distance he saw Hannon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him out of in their business. Hannon would have dropped, uh, dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene, covered in blood. He probably thought Ricard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he could convince us it was Ricard. <laughs> that is enough. The culpability of both of you in the murder and attempted murder, murder of Calder Nedek is evident. Uh, additionally, Ricard Lilsov can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of handed gold. I place you both under the arrest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to holding facilities in the Jedi Enclave. You have done well here. It is obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performance in this little test. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Yes. Yeah, that takes quite a while. It's quite evolved. So, can't really cut a lot of time on it either. Uh, let's head back to how close am I to leveling up? Close. Don't match.
surprised they, they haven't had their conversation yet. They usually have it by now. Like, uh, basically, it's... It's Candor is giving Garth some grief. Uh, just yeah, to what do you kill want? some time. Your choice. No. I'm... Yes, what's on your mind? Are you? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all planes and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. Well, that's all I can think of at any rate. You got it. Yeah, what do you want? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway. So I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. You know, I think... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep him. I was gonna, I was gonna uh, bring Dalbar. You've been holding out on us again. Since you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please, take my wife and children instead. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> take my wife and children. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. close am I? Yeah, I should stay out and try to try to level up here.
Kaith, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior, uh, cool. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer, they, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent, mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. <laughs> okay, one more fight, and we got this. I just need one more cat town. That's that's all I need. Okay. Uh, they they should spawn. There will be at least one spawned in, or maybe two. That's all I need. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, it's time to graduate. This is Johanny. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. So where is Car uh, Quatra now? After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. <laughs> the council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. But they have asked me to wait here for the training. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Yeah. Well, anyway, it, it's kind of funny. I was, I was kind of chuckling because, you know, the... the NPCs with their pathing and uh, right in the middle of the dialogue, uh, you, you can see this, this female. Forget her name, but she's trying to <laughs> to walk basically uh, through uh, where I and Jahani were talking. She's caught in that animation loop. Uh, before we go in there, we're going to be wrapping it up here soon. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. Oh, you are yeah. to be commended for I think I have to this. actually go talk your to what's his face. Great hope for the future. Uh, go Zar. to Master Jar and inform yeah. him that Johanny has returned Zar. to us. I think you may be nearing the end of your apprenticeship. I, I, I do this every time I play this game. <laughs> you think I know by now. I just go straight to Jar first. But you have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way and it seems to have made its point. Johanni has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. <laughs> we.
Oh, I don't have any crystals. I don't know why I'm looking at this. is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps Demo. sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. All right, uh, I'll investigate. What happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? Oh, that is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, what can you tell me about Bastila? Since she's standing right Bastila next to us. will be a great Jedi someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled. She's like, I'm right here. Meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? I had no idea. Yes, actually, Carthus. Bastila herself God. does not like to talk about it. She was I saw a it in my in visions as well. She confronted or, Revan no. when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. And you. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. I'll look into it at once. Shen Matali has not returned to his father. It may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on. How bad could it be? What are you, what are you talking about, Karth? We, we were out in the plains. Don't you remember that? wonder about him sometimes.
So we're going to head back to the Ebon Hawk and maybe do some upgrading. I'm about ready to, to, to quit, though. Not feeling too well, either. So. Probably just go ahead and wrap it right now. Okay, appreciate you all showing up and uh, so we'll stop there to visit it. Stay groovy, sit next time. Bye.